if you are from the Denver area and you feel like the pricing is out of control, you feel like your ability to buy rental properties that hit your cash flow goals is diminishing every month, I am glad you are here because I am here to solve that problem for you. Yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, problem solver. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I help people like you invest in real estate today. My dude, T-Money. T-Money is a Cleveland expat, right? Lived in the Cleveland, Ohio area. Moved to the Denver area, right? Now he's chilling up in Colorado doing what he does. But he wants to invest in real estate, right? He's got a good job. He's going to invest some of those proceeds in real estate. Felt like he should come back home to do so because the Denver housing market, folks, pricing is out of control. Pricing is through the roof, it is so hard to find properties that hit your cash flow goals, hit your budget, right? But it's 2022, y'all. Live where you want. Invest where it makes sense. And my team, we help people like that hit those cash flow goals, and we handle all the on-the-ground work, right? So if after this show, work with me one-on-one, something that you're thinking you want to do, click the notes below. Book a call at my team. We'll walk you through the process. Now, T-Money, you're going to love this one, okay? Why? Because you're from the Cleveland area, but truth be told cleveland's a big place right dealing with like three to five million uh people in the whole metro pop right the city of cleveland let's just say it's here you're from cleveland heights it's like 35 minutes east right i showed you uh, several properties right in the whole metro area a lot of them were in like Elyria and lorraine and that's like 35 west so like we're looking at over an hour uh from where you actually lived right so you're from the market but you didn't have like an intense hometown familiarity uh, with those properties. You liked them, but I, uh, I I got the opportunity to find you something that was a little closer to home. This is actually right where you're from, the suburb you're from, Cleveland Heights. And this one, dude, this one's got a lot of pros to it. I really dig this one. I know we have another one. Uh, we got some offers out there. I think this one might even be a better deal for you. So without further ado, bro, let's take a look at the footage now. Welcome back. Now, this one, this is a pretty solid deal, right? This is in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, okay? So if anybody out there isn't familiar with Cleveland Heights, the first thing I think you should do, right, if you're not familiar with the Cleveland market in general, right, because here's the thing. This is the Cleveland metro area, the Cleveland housing market. You should not look just at the city of Cleveland, right? In the city of Cleveland, folks, it's like 340, 350, 360,000 people, something like that, right? We work the whole Northeast Ohio area. We're dealing with a population like three, four, five million, somewhere in there. I don't have the figures off the top of my head, but the point I'm trying to make is Cleveland itself is a small little subset of what we're doing, right? So what I've done, is I've created a document, a blog, an article, whatever you want to call it. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I graded all these areas on an A to F scale. A, high price, low risk. F, low price, high risk, right? And I explain what all the varying letter grades mean, okay? In there, you'll see that Cleveland Heights is rated as a B, but parts of Cleveland Heights get closer to, like, higher income stuff, and then other parts of uh, Cleveland Heights get closer to lower income stuff, so it really kind of sways, but that guide is a starting point. And then, of course, these videos are the pure due diligence, right? You want to can you got to start, you got to walk before you could run, right? That's a great starting point, but you really should fill, uh, follow up with these videos, okay? And what we have here 
is a property that is in the nicer, the more expensive area of Cleveland Heights. You're going to get a lot of high-quality tenants. You're going to get a ton of rent per unit, right, because of the close proximity uh, to downtown and all the various hospitals and things of that nature, right? So this one's been on the market for a little while, 38 days. Normally, we'd expect to see this move a little quicker. It's priced at 199 and the cool thing about this one is I think you're going to be able to score a deal here because the existing owner is renting these units way lower than they should, right? So when you get mom and pop landlords that make mistakes or they don't really understand the business, the rental market, they really shoot themselves in the foot. To be honest, with you, if this was renting at market rate, I believe we'd be looking at a price point like two and a quarter, 230, something like that, right? Really nothing wrong with the units. They look fine. It's just the owner happens to be renting them for much less than they should. All right. And this is a side by side, right? So the side by side layout is going to help. Okay. See, this is a basement, right? Separate basements. Okay. You don't have tenants sharing a space. Updated electrical. So hot water tanks look a little old, but those are only $1,000 to replace. And you do that about every 15 years. So I'm sure in the next like five years, you're probably replacing those hot water tanks. But when you have a side by side layout like this, folks, you get more rent, you get longer tenancy. They don't have a shared basement, which is great because you know what we run into running a huge property management portfolio with a lot of shared basements? Like we literally have had like a panty thief at one point we had to deal with, right? Literally, dude from unit A is freaking stealing the underwear from lady from unit B's uh, dryer, right? That's an awkward conversation, right? And shit like that does happen, right? So to avoid shit like that, you want to move up in the asset class, which we've done here, right? This is a nice B-grade property. And then also, you could totally eliminate the common space for doing a side-by-side. -side. I've always loved the side-by-side -side properties much more than the up-down. But in the Cleveland market, what you need to understand is the up-down duplexes with uh, shared basements. That's like 95% of the duplex inventory, right? So these are very, very rare, these side-by-sides. So when you get the opportunity to buy one, you definitely should, especially when it's in a nice neighborhood of Cleveland. Like, look at this thing. This is a beast of a property. And here is where the the deal lies, right? Mr. Seller here doesn't really know what they're doing, I'm guessing, because they are renting those units for $890 and $895. Now, with the fact that we have a side-by-side -side layout, each of those units is huge, four beds in each unit, and the fact that our location is prime, dude, that is a money location. The market rent Sit down. This one's going to shock you a little bit. It should actually be thirteen fifty, right? These massive, huge bedroom, huge square foot side by side units in this part of Cleveland Heights rent for a friggin' ton, right? So we should long term be getting twenty seven hundred a month or thirty two four hundred a year. But of course, you don't get to keep that. You still got your fixed and variable expense estimates, which comes in at a pure profit estimate of around sixteen k a year, right? And again, I believe we're going to be able to get a discount because Mr. Seller doesn't know that. Again, if you're already bringing in thirteen fifty, dude, we're looking at a price point of at least two and a quarter on this bad boy. This guy's got super low rents, so I think we could probably pick it up at one ninety. Uh, only put down forty seven and a half. Bank kicks in another uh, one hundred forty two. Long term, you're looking at an eighteen percent return and you're in an area with incredible high demand and uh the level the quality of your tenants uh, should always remain comparatively high to a lot of the other stuff you guys see us talk about here on the show, right? So I believe this will be just a nice, safe, sound, stable investment. I think this one is a winner. Uh, let me know if you want to put in an offer. And folks, if you like this type of service, you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one under the video on your phone, tablet, computer, whatever, uh, click the notes, book a free call. My team will get you your own personalized videos like this, and you can work with your boy Jay Wise one on one to invest in cash flow real estate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.